Welcome to part two, competency 13, practice quiz questions. Number six, if arc FJ equals 28, let me put that there, 28, and angle FGH is 52, that'll be this angle right here, okay? And GH, okay, GH, is a tangent ray, what is the measure, all right, measure of J, K? Okay, all right, so what we need to do here is realize a couple of facts. All right, so if we look at the entire image, one thing that we need to see from, which is different from the prior questions that we were asked, we were comparing a central angle to the entire circle. Well, that's not the case. What we're doing in this situation is we have this right angle, okay, because it's tangent. And we are comparing half of the circle. Now, we could compare the whole circle, but we're only interested in the half. So we are really looking at the relationship of 90 degrees over 180, okay? Which implies that we are looking at, okay, this is our theta, and this would be the degree, oh, that should be 180, and I put 188, I'm sorry. Okay, 180, okay. And this, that would be our theta, meaning our angle. But the 180 is actually an arc measure, meaning like the arc of half, half of it. Okay, half of the circle, the arc. So it's angle to arc. Okay, that all being said, what's really going on? Let me go over here and show you what we've got. We need to deal with this section here that is related to 52. So I'm going to call that section, I'm going to put X. That's going to be my arc length. So I'm going to call that X. And then the actual angle that we have is the 52. Okay. Now that'll get us. The arc length for 52, for the degrees of 52 degrees. Oh, okay. Maybe I need more coffee today. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Now that's how it should look. Okay. So moving on. So this will get us the arc length for the angle 52. Now we have, they gave us the arc length of 28. And then we'll, all we have to do is some subtraction, okay, to get what we need. So in order to get, now I called this arc length down here X. So let's call this green, let's call that just the arc, like they have it here, J, K, right? We're, that's how we're gonna label it. Okay, so, oops, moving stuff over. Okay, so J, K, arc will equal okay our 180 degrees total minus okay well let's put the 28 in there first 28 degrees given minus whatever x turns out to be okay all right so let's figure out what x is Actually, I can already tell you because, look, we're dealing with one half, right? 90 is, 90 degrees is half of 180. So my thought is, is that we're, or we're doubling. Okay, but let's go through the motions, okay? All right, this is what we have. 90x equals 180 times 
52, divide both sides by the 90, and well, I can already see that really what you're doing is you're going to be canceling out, and in the end, this will be 2 times 52. And if you look at the comparison where we started, like I was saying, that's what we have, okay? So then what do we put in our calculator? Okay, if I stop hitting things. Okay, so that means we have 180 minus 28 minus 2 times 52, and that should give us our arc length. So let's put that in the calculator. Okay, oops, that's a minus. Make sure you know that's a minus. So 180, subtract the 28. Subtract in parentheses, 2 times 52. Close those parentheses. And the magic number is 48, which would be correct. Okay, all right. So if you didn't see that comparison that I made, I'm sure there are other ways to get there, but that's... That was actually the easiest way I could think of, okay? And, and it worked, okay? All right. You can always stop the video and take another look at all that for yourself. All right, so let's look at number seven. What do we got going on here? If LM and LQ, segment LM, LQ, are tangent segments to the arc of, now, ooh, let me use, let's highlight, they're talking M, R, to Q, okay? That's where your tangency is. Being four times the measure of, let's use our yellow, of this one. So the green, now let's think this out. The green is four times the measure of the yellow. This implies that they are saying to slice all the way around 360 degrees into five pieces. Okay, because this one, let's call this X, and this one four times X. Well, that's five pieces, okay? So we need to take and divide 360 by, actually, let's just write that out. And then we'll just put that in the calculator. So we know that X is going to equal 360 divided by five. Let's see what that gets us. 360 divided by 5, 72. And that's correct. Okay, that gets us a value of 72. Okay, so now we have some facts or properties about the, you know, the arcs, the minor arc, the major arc, okay? So what do we need to do? We need to take 4x, that's a major arc. Subtract the minor arc of x and divide by 2, okay? And this equals the measure, actually, the proper way to write that actually would be here. That equals the measure of angle L, okay? All right, so we, we know what to do. Okay, so what are we going to put in our calculator? We will put 4 times 72, put that in parentheses, minus 72, all over 2. And that should give us what we need. All right, let's do that. In parentheses, 4 times 72, close our parentheses, subtract 72. And I'm going to push enter because if I just push divide by 2, I can see an order of, order of operations fail. Okay, so let's push enter to equal it out. Now let's divide by two. And it's 108, which is the correct option. Okay. All right, so let's go to the next one. All right. 
Number eight. Segment JL is a secant ray and LM is a tangent ray. If arc KM is 86 degrees, so this arc is 86, this arc right here, okay, and angle J is equal to 42 degrees, okay, what is the measure of KL? All right, we need to be careful. First, we're finding this arc in yellow. Then, to actually answer the question, we need the green. Right now, all we know is the very the smallest arc. All we know that that is that is eighty six. Okay. All right. So we can actually read that. All right, so what are we really doing? So let's lay it all out so we can see it. In the end, I'm going to write it down here. This is what we're look, actually looking for. We are looking for the arc KL, and that equals 360 degrees minus 86 degrees, okay? Minus, okay? That will be X, this arc X right here. Whatever that is, that's what it's going to be. Okay, now we need to find X, right? And I'm just going to save space. We're going to do this all at once, okay? First, let's calculate the value or a little equation for X, rather. So we were, if you remember from the other videos, that is that arc X minus the 86 degrees divided by 2 actually will e equal J. That is this angle J right here, which we know to be 42 degrees. So the value of X actually equals, okay, 42 times 2 plus 86. So what are we subtracting from all of this? So I'm actually, let's go ahead. We're going to put it in the calculator all at once, and I'll show you what we're going to do. So I'm going to do a major bracket, and with the 42 times 2, close that parentheses, and then plus the 86. Okay, so in the calculator, we'll just use double parentheses and it'll all work out. Okay, I did, we just need to know that when we do this, that we are not creating issues with our order of operations. You know, you've probably, oh my goodness, if I could write correctly. Okay, you probably have heard me talk about making sure that the order of operations is correct. So just always think about that. And if you're not sure, Add some more parentheses. It won't hurt anything. Okay, so we have 360 minus 86 minus double parentheses, 42 times 2, close the parentheses, and then add the 86, close it, and see how, yes, I could have distributed my negative, but if you know you have a good format and you know you can put in your calculator, why not do it? So you see it, and there are no mistakes made. And you press enter, and we have option C. Perfect. All right, let's go to number nine here. Okay. All right, so with number nine, it says, if the arc EG plus KM equals 210 degrees, what is the measure of the angle G? J A. Oh my goodness. It's one sentence, but there was a lot in that sentence. That's all I've got to say. Okay. So what are we looking for in the end? We are looking for, they want that angle. Okay. So let's highlight. It'll be this angle right here. Okay. That's what they're really wanting associated with that arc. Now let's change our highlighter here. What are they giving us? Okay, they're giving us these two arcs, 
And there is a lot that we know about this. I can tell you that we take the the property is that when you add those two together, this right here, if I divide that 210 by two, I actually have the angle next to the angle J. I have both of those because they equal 180. So let me go through the process. If you're not sure what I'm saying, it'll all come clear. So let's take the 210, divide that by two. That will give us 105. Well, that means this oh, is 105. If I would write it correctly, this angle here is 105. But I also know that this other angle is 105. At this point, it doesn't matter because that segment is a straight line. I know the angle J plus 105 equals 180. So in order to get the angle J, angle J, which is the angle they're asking, the angle that we need, it equals 180 degrees minus the 105, which equals, well, let's pop that in the calculator. I'm saying it's going to equal 75 because, of course, you can just look at that. Let's, let's just put it in the calculator anyway. Let's say you're tired, you're testing, which I've said so many times. Don't take chances. Look at what you have. Uh-oh. I somehow, I pushed something when I was touching. Okay, now I have it correct. Let's go enter 75 and the value is D. Doesn't hurt to double check. Notice it only takes a few seconds to pop that in the calculator and testing is important. Nobody wants to retake a test, okay? And that is the last question in part two of our four part uh, quiz for competency 13. Once again, please like us, share us and Above everything else, subscribe to keep our free stuff coming. Happy testing.